Hey there everyone, uh, it's Mr. Provine, it's been a while since I made a video, and today I'm going to give you a full-length tutorial on my minecart elevator. Um, just as a little forward, this is probably going to be a very long video, and I apologize for that, this is a pretty complicated thing, and I feel that if I cut out, if I left out any processes, that everyone would be confused, and that really would do no one a service. So, just to refresh all your memories, push a button, minecart gets loaded, goes to the top, I uh, push it again, loaded, up, minecart goes up, comes around, goes back. So you all remember, this is an elevator for minecarts. It's pretty cool. Brings them up as however high you want. Can load them to a different direction. Obviously doesn't go back into itself. Um, it's really, really unique. I still haven't seen another one of these on YouTube that works. Um, anyhow, let's get to it. I will show you a tutorial starting now. <laughs> hey there, everybody. We have a bit drastic change in scenery. Um, it's a new little creation world I'm using. And so we're going to show you how to... I'm going to show you how to make this today. And so the first step we're going to want to do is... Um, put in our pistons. So I've used these little sandstone squares just to remind me where to put the pistons in. So um, basically you want to have a starting piece spot and I put that as this right here. And you can all copy my design for space, spacing the pistons. But basically you're going to want to run them in this exact design. Um, the purpose for that will be, ex I'll explain it momentarily for why I have them how they are. But uh, so, you have them like this, and then we have a top part too. And I'll show you all the top part, but uh, it's a real hassle to build that on video, so I'm just going to explain each individual one up there. So basically down here we have two separate functions. We have the loader for the slabs, and we have the loader for the fences. Sorry, I had to make a little edit already. Um, this is, should be the starting off design of the pistons. This right here is your slab and minecart loader, and this is for the fences. Um, the fences need to be loaded up so the slabs can be brought back down. If you bring slabs down individually, as I explained in my other videos, hopefully you've watched them, um, they'll become a, a solid block, which will not work for minecart loading purposes. So we're going to treat these as two separate units. So uh, this is my 1A block, and this is my 2A block. This is my 1B block, this is my 2B block, and this is my 3B block. Basically, these two are going to uh, work on one machine, these, two, these three are going to work on another. And then we have other ones at the top, and I'm going to show you these now. So the the whole the biggest part about this, really, I, I imagine, is the wiring. Once you get the pistons down and you really figure this out, it's actually, it's not that that bad. It's not that great either, but it's really not that bad. So up here, as down below, we have two separate systems. And uh, I'll give you a nice long look at how this is set up, so you can all copy this. You can see there's a block space here, block space here, two spaces here, a block space between this one and this one. There's actually two straight and this goes one forward and underneath. So this is my um, top 1A, this is my top 1B, or sorry, this is my top 2A, this is my top 3A, and this is my top 4A. Over on the other side, we have my top, uh, my top 1B, my top 2B, and my top 3B. As you notice, this one functions twice. This is used to push the entire stack back down, because what we do here is, while um, the slabs are loaded up by themselves and the fences are loaded up by themselves, at the top they will be combined, put together, and separated against the bottom. It's very important because the slabs cannot be loaded up with fences, otherwise the minecarts cannot load. But they cannot be brought, d brought down as just slabs, otherwise they'll combine. So you need to combine and then separate, which is what made this just so, so difficult to do in the first place. So really from this part on, um, we're going to start working on wiring. And we're going to work on it at one part, like part A at a time and then part B at a time. And I hope you'll get what I mean by that. But um, let's just start on part A for now so you have a bit of an idea of where we're going. Um, I'm going to do the basic wiring and show you what I've done, but I'm not going to record it on camera because it just takes way too long. Great, so I have my first set of A pieces wired. If you remember, this, these three are the Bs, and these two are the As. I'm just labeling that for just so we're, uh, it's simplified. And this is going to serve as my little hub for all the redstone for this. So I have this one, uh, 1A, uh, set to go first. It's at a one tick delay. And I have this one to go second. This is uh, 2A, and it's at a two tick delay. So when I press the button, it'll go forward and then go up. So if I'm to put a slab there, if I take a slab, I place it here, uh, you'll see it moved up one. It goes forward and then goes up. Great. So, perfect. So we have that. So now, um, basically we're going to get this to the top, and so let's, let's, uh, Let's start wiring the top, I suppose, now. Actually, yeah, let's wire the top. No, we're going to fish the bottom. I changed my mind again. So now uh, we're going to do the bottom ones. And I suppose 
I can be kind and um, show you how we're going to do this, just because I'm that kind of person. So, this is where the wiring might get a little weird for some of you. Um, again, how you wire this is all up to you. This is simply how I am doing it. I don't have the most efficient way, but it's the only thing that matters regarding my wiring is the timing. So just pay strict attention to that. So we wire this down. I have to make sure that links. I always forget how pistons sync up, and I'm often incorrect. Let's just see. Does that make it go? It does. Perfect. Cool. Um, so that's this is our one block. All right. So you can see there's no delay on this block. Um, I will explain more later. Uh, this is our two block, and this is our three block. Our two block has a, I believe I said a, I believe I said to a one tick delay, or yeah, one tick delay. This final block has a two tick delay, I believe. Yes, it does. I actually set this to a two, sorry, and this is a three. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, yeah, this is a three. Or this is a two, so a three. God, I'm stupid today. Great, so let's wire these in. And actually, in the name of simplicity, um, yeah, actually, we'll just, do it. we'll just do it like this. Just make it real easy for everyone today. So these are wired in. Great. So if I bring this wire all the way around, which it seems like I'm going to have to do, um, I'm going to have to add a repeater. So we're going to go back and we're going to adjust these all one. Um, I hope you all understand why I'm adjusting these by adding an extension to the wiring. Uh, I added a, I have um, added a tick to it. So. I'm making up for the delay, so let's count it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow, I am on the ball today with my guessing. All right, and then we'll wire these in to this. Great. And we're just going to make another hub here just to make things easy. And so if this has been wired correctly, which I, um, we will have this block move forward, then this block move forward, then this block move forward. So we're going to put uh, this down. Assuming this is correct, this should be here and up one bolt square after I press this button. And if not, don't sue me. So I'll have to fix it. Oh, and there it is. Look how beautiful that is. It's exceptional. And now the entire bottom is wired for now. We have to connect these later on, but this wiring actually ended up being much simpler than it generally is. We're very lucky for that. I don't know what I did right. <laughs> um, now, um, the top is without a doubt the worst part. Um, I like to use uh, torches to get up there by going one two one two one two but I have a feeling that a lot of people aren't that technically savvy and so I'm just simply gonna make the very very ugly little step ups things that you seen in my very first video I made of this my the one I showed at the beginning uses the torches to make it much more compact and if people uh, desire I can make one regarding a more compact version but this is simply just the idea to everybody okay so <clears throat> we're gonna keep in mind right now this right now is going to be the most complicated block to wire, and it's also the most important because it's used by two individual systems. So it's to be wired in twice. And while you may not understand that right now, you'll be pretty familiar with it later because I'm probably going to yell and scream and bitch about how hard it was to wire in. All right, <clears throat> so let's do the A's first. So this is top A, second A, third A, fourth A. All right, so um, I'm going to make staircase, make staircase to each of these, and uh, yeah. Um, could put that in and then we'll skip to it when the staircases are in because I don't want to see you all build that. You, do, you don't want to see me build that. It's going to take a little while. Great. So I have wired in the top and I'm going to thoroughly explain and show you what I did up there. Um, as you can see, instead of using redstones, I made a very ugly staircase that I don't like at all, but I feel it will be much more helpful. So if you recall, um, with our A series back to this one and this one, uh, it ended in a two tick delay. So as you can imagine, these up here are going to need to be on delay three to eight or three to seven. So I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. So this is a two, so then we run the wire and then we start oh up here. Um, I have added a four tick delay right here, as you can see, uh, allowing for adequate time. Okay. From there, we'll get back to this. Do not worry about it now please. Um, it first goes directly into this piston. This piston's on a four delay. From there it runs to the right. We have another uh, thing here <laughs> uh, repeater here and now plus the four, the, that down there is a four, with this, this additional one, it becomes a five delay here. We go over here and we have another repeater with an extra tick added, um, 
and this becomes a uh, 7 delay. I made it 5 to 7 because sometimes a little spacing in between allows for more smoother transitions. Okay, so it goes it goes up to here, this pushes forward, then this pushes forward, and then this pushes forward, leaving underneath this block. Let's go over to that block there now. Now, as you recall, the wire split here with only a 4 delay, so the wiring runs to the left, we go up, and this here is another 4 delay, making this one a grand total of 8. Uh, I'm going to put a block here, and, oops, not there, sorry. I'm going to put a block right here, and when I hit the button, you will see it moved forward, 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 and then push down. Uh, the reason for that is will become clear rather soon. And uh, once I finish this, I'm going to start loading blocks up into here, and you can see a little circuit will begin, and that'll be the end of the A. So I'm going to hit this button, and I look up, and we're going to see it end up being pushed down. Hit the button, I look up, and push down. Quite exceptional. I love this thing. So let's start loading this up, and um, yeah, let's, uh, we're going to load it up, and you're going to start seeing the whole thing work together. Uh, I'm going to skip to the part where it's all the way low to the top, so I'll see you there. Great. We're at the part where every additional block I add will move this up all the way to the loader, which will push this block down. So when I add another block and push the button, you'll see this block right here be moved down to that level of that one right there. And uh, this is just an example of how A works, and I'm going to do the same thing with B. Up, and it's down. And we're going to load it all the way down until you can see it come to the bottom receptacle. Up, up, and down three. And I'm skipping ahead to where it's almost all the way down. Great, now as you can see, it's almost all the way at the bottom. Oops, I didn't mean to press it. And if you press it, nothing's loaded, nothing happens, which is great, because I fuck up a lot. Push it down, goes down, and then when I do this one last time, you're going to see the whole thing loaded up. Forward, up, up, and push down. Great. So now the whole thing is fully loaded to its maximum, as you can see. Doesn't get any more than this. Um, because, yeah, it just doesn't. Uh... That, be that being said, let's start working on B.